Hey everybody, uh, I wish I could say good morning, but let's call it what it is. It's a very, very shitty morning. Um, <laughs> I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about, and if, uh, if I forget to write a little disclaimer, if y'all are sensitive, don't watch this. Just stop it now. Um, hey puppy dog. We all know what's going on in Afghanistan. It was a, it was a shitty withdrawal. No plan. I would say terrible planning. No plan. Um, my gunfighter brothers, guys, man, I know this sucks. I'm angry. I'm mad. I know what we did over there wasn't a waste. So all y'all that are on that train need to get off. Our job was to go over there, develop a pattern of life on bad guys, and kill them with prejudice. Kill the ever-living dog shit out of them. And we did so. A lot. A lot. Just because the officers who are the politi and politicians, it's all one and the same. That's why they come into battalion for a year or two. They go back and they, they're politicians. Okay? Just because they couldn't do their job doesn't mean the gunfighter on the ground didn't do his, gentlemen. All right? To my Gold Star families, God, it's breaking my heart. It really is. Because... I can't imagine how y'all feel because y'all weren't there. Y'all had the hardest job of all, and that's sending your young loved ones off to war. Then you got the knock on the door. And then now you feel like they may have died in vain. Not the case. Go back to what I just said. We had a job to do, and we did it, and we did it well. No one died in vain. All of those we killed, we lost Afghanistan in 11 days. Shocker, I'm surprised it took them that long. All of those guys we killed, all of the 20 years that we disrupted their networks, that bought people time, that at least gave people a little bit of freedom and gave girls a chance to go play soccer, it gave people to at least to pretend to vote because, by the way, your vote doesn't count. I don't vote. I voted in this last election because it broke my girlfriend's heart that I fought for this country, as she put it, um, which she's right. Um, but I don't believe our vote counts and don't really care, to be honest, because, well, this is what it is. The bottom line is the American public does not care about us as gunfighters. I'm not saying every last one of them, guys. I'm speaking to my gunfighters now. The majority. The majority do not. Uh, that, that's a period, the end. And it shows, guys, you have not heard anything about a veteran death, mind you, over 22 a day are still committing suicide until it fits both sides' political agendas. Okay? You noticing that? Let me show you guys something, all right? So all of this has been going on for about a week now. We just lost 12 dudes. Let's look at this article by Business Insider, written August 25th. Trying to weed out ex extremists and special ops vets say all the units have some more fringe members. Oh, it's the special ops. Oh, man, what, what do you know? Re re just take a second and read that, guys. Okay, all right. We're, we're just, I, I'm just going to read through this, skim it real quick. Days after January 6th, Capitol attack, uh, blah, 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 blah. Pentagon issued a rank stand down. Um, they're showing uh, guys and in, in stuff they bought on eBay um, that we don't even wear anymore, but that makes them military. Uh, because, yeah, guys, that all, of, all, all of those guys out there with Velcro ball caps and tight T-shirts and chewing mitts, Copenhagen, those are your gunfighters, right? Open carry in their Glock with their Schmedium shirt. How many ranges did you see walking around like that? Um, let's get rid of that. Okay. Special Operations PSYOP, Psycholation Operations Officer who resigned her commission that 100 people didn't participate in violence. A former member of the 75th Ranger Regiment, also accused by a federal judge of using his special operations for training experience. He had three combat deployments, so he either did one enlistment or he was an officer. Um, used his Ranger training. 
I was I was only a ranger for what seven years of my eleven year career. Did five deployments with the the, the best in the world, and yeah, what I saw TV <laughs> at the Capitol Dax, I wasn't no ranger training. That was no different than the daggum cities getting burned all summer long. It, both sides are just fitting their narrative, right? We know that. So. Let's talk about a little bit more. A woman rider was shot inside the building as an Air Force bread, uh, veteran. To be sure, there were more, ra ra more radicals in the military before the assault on the Capitol, but the events were a perfect storm that brought them together. Oh, um, man, a Coast Guard lieutenant and a self-described white nationalist. Guys, the Coast Guard is part of the military. There are gunfighters that are on the ground shooting people in the face there's everybody else. One's not better than the other. But the media and the American public has thrown them all into one. I assure you, they're not different. Or excuse me, I assure you, they are different. They're very different. The media wants us to think they're not different. I am not saying that they're bad. Guys, they are, it's like taking the entire world and taking four or five people and then blanketing statement in the entire world. We wouldn't do that because it doesn't make sense. But the media does it and we're, we're cool with it. Um, officers talking that are going against us because, well, it fits their agenda. Because they get paid by politicians. Every unit has a few guys who are off a bit. Navy SEAL, Navy SEAL, Navy SEAL. Um, British troops. Uh, take an oath. Wow. So, guys, basically what this is saying is that special operations guys are a threat. Okay? So... The reason I'm saying all this is because we're in the news right now and everybody's saying, guys, support our troops. It's all over Facebook. You know, the BLM thing has died down because I guess all the, the money money laundering and um, not, uh, what what is it, embezzlement issues they're having. I think the media draw, drew attention away from that. Now everybody's back to supporting the troops. Um, but this article that was written two days ago by Business Insider says much different. Let's go back to April 16th, 2021. This is just something I had copied and pasted. Um, that that right there, the lady with the penis drone on her head, um, I guess that just came online, you know. She is calling herself the subject matter expert in extremism in the military. Her assistant is that second chin right there. Yeah, guys, because she has lots of experience in the field with special operations, and I'm sure she's dated quite a few. Um, I'm assuming I'm assuming this chick is just a reporter, which they're whatever. Um, in secret Facebook group, America's best warriors share ooh, racist jabs and lies about 2020, even whatever that is theories. Don't know what that is. So evidently. Where's the other one? Oh, look at this, guys. And that's that's February 21st. Look at that. Guys, I'm going to end this by saying nothing was done in vain. Your children, your husband, your father, your brother, your cousin, your friends, no one died in vain. All right? God put us on this earth to kill evil. And that's what we did. Okay? Just because the politicians messed it up doesn't mean anything. And guys, my gunfighters, don't get all caught up in your feels because people are supporting us again. Guys, their idea of support is a free meal at Applebee's once a year and, and uh, a thank you for your service. Guys, this is the reality. This is the reality. Once all this Afghanistan goes away, they're not going to care about our brothers that were killed. Okay? They're not going to care about our brothers that were killed. And they're sure as heck not going to care about us. Okay? Guys, hang in there. If you need anything, reach out. It's okay to be angry. We're, we're allowed to be angry. This whole... 
I don't want you guys to have a feeling of worthlessness or regret or anything like that. You were part of the best fighting machine in history. No one can ever take that from us. Guys, reach out. We need to come together now, okay? Instead of getting on all this on Facebook, we need to come together. The people, the true believers that truly support veterans and gunfighters, they will come with us, I assure you. Look at what the Cuban community did when they came into Florida. They created their own little mini-economies. Mini and Forgive me if I'm wrong. I believe it was a Cuban Jewish community down in the Miami area specifically that created their own economy, and they are doing beautifully. They blended well. Other people come in and, and help them out and, and support their little economy, guys, by, by buying their goods because they provide good services. Guys, we're the best at what we do. Find something you love. Do it. Let's help each other out. Let's show these people we have worth in the civilian world. Stay away from the crap and realize that the majority do not care about us. That's how this commander-in-chief got in there to kill all these Marines. It's because the majority of the Americans don't care about us, and that's okay. We won't need them. We've got each other, guys. Keep your head on a swivel. <laughs> Never thought I'd be saying that stateside. Keep your head on a swivel, guys. Stay sane. Stay safe. Reach out if you need help. We'll see y'all out on the water.